Hello traders, hope you're doing well. I'm making this video to give a brief explanation on two of the new indicators which I created. Uh, the first one is manual harmonic patterns with interactive inputs, and the second one is manual harmonic projections with interactive inputs. Uh, they both are similar in a few ways. They both are uh, both both make use of interactive inputs, um, the features of the trading um, the pine script and the trading view, and also um, both of them are based on um, harmonic patterns. So there's slight difference between those each of um, both of these indicators. I'll explain in this video how to use both of these and how to make use of uh, the outcome of these indicators. Let's get started. The first one is uh, manual harmonic patterns. So as we all know, like you know, harmonic patterns are, um, are the reversal patterns, which are uh, which are based on uh, the, the pivots, which are calculated based on the pivots. For example. Um, uh, there's also a tool here. If you see it's X, A, B, C, D, is my harmonic pattern and cipher pattern. So you select X, A, B, C, and D. This is a harmonic pattern. So, but it doesn't say the trading view tool doesn't say that it's really a pattern. Uh, it just say it just tells you what all the ratios and etc. So that you know you can um, you can refer it to the pattern ratios and see if that belongs to any patterns so instead of um, what if i say instead of what our tool does is instead of uh, just giving the ratio it also will tell you what pattern it is so let's try doing the same thing on uh, the same lines so manual harmonic patterns select the one in the library so it's uh, it tells you to select the points interactive um you know the time and price points based on the interactive inputs. So let's select the same points, pi watt low, pi watt high, pi watt low, pi watt high, and pi watt low. So select all these points. See, it's, it's, there are two patterns here, cipher and anti-butterfly. Anti so uh, whenever there are two or more patterns here by in the PRZ zones, it, it means that you know the PRZ zones are kind of mixed. It can be, um, cipher from here to here and anti-butterfly from here to here so if such kind of things happen so instead of showing two different piers and zones uh, what we are showing is you know, um, just mixing both of them combining both of them and showing it as a single zone right um yeah that's uh, that's what it's doing at present uh, I'll delete this one. So what we yeah, what we do is like you know what we did now is we selected five points um, X A B C D, and based on that it, uh, the script identified whether it belongs to a particular uh, harmonic pattern and printed it on the screen. So let's say if we look for this one, this point is not a harmonic pattern which uh, which we have included in the script. So what it's showing is it's not showing any pattern appears in zones here. And also, it's not showing any line fills in this area. So that's how the script works. And also keep in mind that uh, this, the interactive inputs doesn't care whether you selected the right points. So instead of selecting the uh, real pivot, if you select something like this, which is not a real pivot, it still does its job. But you know, it doesn't verify this whether this is a real pivot, right? So you need to be aware of how to use this and what all the what what actually is harmonic patterns and how to use them and all. Uh, if you give a wrong input um, in the interactive inputs, if you select the wrong inputs, it doesn't it doesn't help you. And also there are things like you know for harmonic pattern there shouldn't be any overlap. For example, uh, the BCD line the price should not cross PD line or price should not cross XP line. So if if that happens, it's not a valid harmonic pattern. But the script doesn't check all these things. It's since uh, it's interactive, it's based on the interactive inputs and ratios. Uh, we can't really check what's exactly happening in the price. So it's rather a um, you know a drawing tool rather than a scanner. It will not scan anything in the historical price. It, it won't do anything automatically. It's just that you know if you see a pattern, if you think that you know there can be a harmonic pattern, and let's check, uh, let's just verify based on. Uh, the ratios it will make it easy for you so that um, the script will do all the calculation and tell you whether there's any pattern or not all right that's uh, that's about the first script uh, with auto harmonic patterns and uh, let's have a look at the second one which is auto harmonic projections i'll uh, 
I'll make this, I'll uh, hide this for now. So let's say you don't know, you don't have this point. Let's say, let's say price just reached here and it hasn't come, come till here. But you want to see, you know, if based on X, A, B, C, there are how many patterns are there here? Like, you know, how many, uh, how many possible patterns or how many possible potential reversal zones are here? So in that case, what you can do is there are two things you can do. For example, let's use the same thing. Let's say, uh, I'll add it again, sorry. Manual harmonic patterns, say, let's say, this x a b c and d so you're expecting d to be here and see if there is any pattern yeah it's a bat here yeah you can say that you know the bat um, there's a pattern here but you don't know until you just drag it and see experiment a bit and all these things otherwise you don't know whether there can be a potential pattern there or not and shark is here and all these things so to make it easier like you know instead of just keep dragging and trying to see that there's a pattern what you can do is you can use the other step which is manual harmonic um, projections so so like manual harmonic projections with interactive inputs if here you don't need to select x a b c d is to you just need to select x a b and c and it will tell you where all different patterns are see bat anti shark and crab so we already saw that the bat comes up here and shark comes up here there is a slight uh, change though there, there can be a slight um, difference between these two um, let's say let's add back this uh, patterns and select the same points x a b c and let's select this as a d uh, yeah, the bat is almost same. Let's select this anti shark. Yeah, see this the anti shark is a bit bigger than this one. Um, that's because um, manual ha harmonic patterns it will use only the XAD range, XAD or XAD in case of cipher uh, range to plot uh, or uh, you know uh, plot the PIZ zone. So it's like XAD min to XAD max. So that's what is uh, um, showing in the manual harmonic patterns. We just change in color so that uh, it really will be clear. So yeah, so this is uh, and I'll have this is only the XAD range, but here it's a combination XAD and BCD. So let's say if this is the XAD range and if this is the BCD range, that means that. Um, BCD the overlap only the overlap of BCD and XCD is used in the you know uh, in this projections that's because you know in in case of harmonic patterns manual harmonic patterns we already know XAD CD so it's easy to verify BCD ratio against already uh, present D point so for PRZ we don't actually check BCD ratios we just take XAD as a uh, XAD range as a PRZ but in case of uh, manual harmonic projections, we don't know the fixed D. So D is kind of a dangling point here. So um, because of that, what we need to do is, you know, we need to consider both BCD and XAD and see where, uh, where they are like, you know, um, merging together or where there's an interactive, you know, common points between, common area between these two, um, area, you know, zones. Uh, we should use that as a PIZ in, in the case of projections. Um, that's why it's slightly different um yeah right um and that's about it i think you can uh, you can try to use it on any chart um wait, i think i removed the wrong one okay so you can uh, try to use it on any chart let's say um you can select a different maybe you can just see a few other uh, examples um let me check so it has run up a lot a lot of zigzags so what i do manual harmonic projections so there's been a lot of um, yeah so let's select a pivot low here pivot low it's a big pattern my a b 
and see hmm, there is no pattern yet right? so but let's say if we change the x to here yeah there's a possible pattern here possible um you know pattern if price comes back to here so in case of projections we don't really need to um very much unless the price drops below b level right so there's no point you know uh, shorting at this point thinking that you know price will come back to here it can go back higher and you know it may um, it may still create my further opportunity for uh, patterns see this this is also anti gartley here so we don't need to really um consider it as a bearish signal um if this happens we can just keep moving only when the price comes below b level then we can think of this as a potential reversal zone and see if we can set up buying targets somewhere here so these are all um yeah that's uh that's about it so if, and this is this is kind of a like you know potential reversal zone so the idea of this harmonic pattern says that price may reverse at this point and we go back and off. right that's about uh, using manual harmonic patterns and manual harmonic projections uh please let me know if you have any questions and um, please try it out on your favorite stock or favorite crypto or any of your favorite instruments and please let me know your ideas. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Bye.